Hello there. Thank you so much for staying on the AM show. It's now time to discuss something interesting. I know we've done all the hard news and all that. Let's breathe a bit. Yeah. So this year, we are relaunching, if I may say, uh, the pop chain all-star concert. You know, for about two years, we've not had it because of COVID. But thankfully, we are back again. And it promises to be more exciting than ever. I've got two wonderful people here to help me have that conversation. Our very own Paul Ankara, uh, who is Bile, if you don't know. <laughs> Good morning to you. Good morning, baby. And we've got Theresa. She's with Watch Week Club. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's a pleasure to have you. So let's just kickstart our conversation, okay? For those who don't know, we've been doing this since 2015. 2015, 2015 exactly. Right. And together with Rotary Club and, and others. And, uh, and plus two to three jazz, jazz bar and grill. Mm -hmm. And Joy FM. And we've a number been, of other partners. And a number of other partners. We've yeah. been uh, collaborating to help make our society better. So uh, previously we were supporting the Joy FM Sugar Project, project yeah. which was focusing on diabetes and how to create awareness and help people get through the disease. This time, Bile, we are focusing on breast cancer. Tell us more. Uh, well, for the past five years, 2015 to uh, 20, 2019, we actually held five concerts on the uh, Diabetes Awareness Project, the Joy FM Sugar Project. And over that time, we were able to raise 80,000 Ghana CDs for breast awareness, uh, I beg you for diabetes awareness and screening. We went to three regions, Volta region, Central region, and the Eastern region. And we did an outreach program help people understand their sugar levels. We issued out glucometers. So we've done that for five years mm. in support of the Joy FM Sugar Project. And after that period, uh, we took time to see what else could we do in the field of supporting health awareness. And breast cancer is an issue that is very prevalent in our society. Mm. Some are not aware that it exists. And therefore, we decided that that's an area that we really need to focus on. And so for the next five years from now to 2026, um, the Rotary Club of uh, Accra Airport mm -hmm. chapter, together with Plus 233 Jazz Bar and Grill, Joy FM, and the Millennium um, Project are focusing on breast uh, awareness, breast cancer awareness in, in, the, in the country. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. Mm -hmm. So for those of you who are wondering, so what nature does this concert take? We're just showing a few videos of past events. So it's exciting. It's time to have fun, mm -hmm. to dance and get excited. Um, I'm, I'm, let, me, let me put you on the spot, Theresa. So um, this, I've realized, usually focuses on the older generation. Yeah? Is there mm -hmm. a way you're trying to bridge the gap <laughs> to bring young people oh, like myself? Well, the last <laughs> time there were a younger that, there was a younger correct. band okay yeah. yes from the yeah. martin, luther, from martin luther king school, school. yes yeah, so, but i'm it saying the kind of music you do right like you know some of us we are lost you know <laughs> but we want to be part of it yeah but, but that's what you call music you should you should come and, come and appreciate it no i mean part of when we started the concerts um way back in 2015 2016 it was the school bands because back in the day in the 60s and 70s most secondary schools had their own school bands so we had a lot of the old guys come back, re, re, reform, and then come and play. Now, we recognized that the younger generation needed to be brought up to speed mm. with regards to what Pop Chain was all about. And back in the day, it was a very big thing in the 70s and 80s. Mm. So last year, no, the last Pop Chain we had, which was uh, 20, 2018, 2019, I beg your pardon, there was a school called Martin Luther King. The youngest person in there was, I think, 12 or 13, and the oldest was, I think, 15. Wow. And they blew everybody away. It was unbelievable. And it just made us realize that if we can bring the younger generation into the world of good music, and also to appreciate what musicianship is all about, this country is so talented. Mm. So we are doing the same thing again in the forthcoming concert, which is going to be launched on, we're actually going to have the concert on the 29th of October at Plus 233 Jazz Bar and Grill. And Martin Luther King are hopefully mm -hmm. going to be joining us mm -hmm. with a number of others. Okay. We will reveal the full lineup of artists very, very soon. Okay. But it's, it's going to be exciting. And the whole idea is to be able to relive the great music of the 60s, 70s and 80s, as well as 
trying to raise mm. funds in the process to try and support breast cancer awareness and screening. Mm. All right, so back to you, Theresa. Why is this so important uh, for you as Rotary Club to join Joy FM and Plus 233 Jazz Bar and Grill so that we can create awareness on breast cancer? Yeah. So Rotary International stands for humanitarian service. And so Rotary does everything which is about humanitarian service. And you know that humanitarian service is pretty much one person can't do it. We've been doing this for over 100 years and we are still doing it. And every time new things are coming up, we can't finish. And so the power of collaboration is critical. Joy FM can't do it alone. Mm -hmm. Rotary can't do it alone. And the pop chain idea was, was, was a leadership project by one of our members mm. in our club, Rotary Club of Accra Airport, to raise funds. But Joy FM has the, um, the, the strength and the muscle to reach out to so many people and to attract. So Rotary stands for humanitarian service. But we do this within very ethical principles, leadership, friendship, standing on our core values. And once people know that Rotary is attached to this, I believe that we're able to raise more funds because Rotarians can get more mileage from the CDs, the one CD that you bring, Rotarians will use it to make sure that everything goes into the project. Okay. And so Rotary, once it's humanitarian services, we are there. So what, what nature will uh, the, the sponsorship take? Because um, I know that you're going to try to reach, like you did with Diabetes Reach, <laughs> that's, that's uh, communities, create awareness. But what else uh, are you going to be doing? Awareness creation is critical in this. Testing. Okay. We're going to bring the message way down to, to villages. Some people don't even know mm. what breast cancer is. And so once you go there, they, will, they are not ever going to go to the hospitals to check. So if we take it to them, to the communities, we're able to reach mm. and access so many people there. Mm. So once we know, and they know, they are aware of their status, then we can scale it up and bring them to seek treatment for those who yeah. um, need the treatment, especially early treatment. So if, I, if I can just buttress on what Theresa has said, when we did the outreach program for di diabetes, in Yamor the Yamorensa area, mm. uh, I think it was 2017 or 2018. There was a lady who was about, she must have been 55, 60. And when we checked her blood pressure, mm. it was 220 over 120. She should have been dead. Wow. Yeah. And she did not know. I have Immedi a picture of her. Immediately, she was sent to, sent to the hospital for treatment. So it's very important we create the awareness because some people are not even aware. And when it comes to breast cancer, the general view is that it happens to women. Wrong. Men can also get it. So we are trying to create this awareness and this outreach, as Theresa said, by going out to, to the various regions, selected various regions, and to create the awareness and see how best we can help people, first of all, adopt the early approach to identifying the potential risks with, with breast cancer so that there can be early, inter early interventions. Mm. Because with cancer, the earlier you catch it, the better. the better it is. I'm so excited about this woman. That was such a timely intervention. I'm just imagining if you had even delayed, say, for about an hour, what it could, it could have led to. She could, she could have died at any time. She could have just fallen down. She didn't Absolutely. even know. Yes. That's right. And that's why we are so appreciative of the support we get from our sponsors. I mean, the last uh, project we did, which was the diabetes, mm. diabetes project, companies such as GKV Investments, Casa Preco Beverages, Crisage Carpets, Century Royal Hotel Resort, Our Coconut, Live Forms, mm -hmm. David Walter, Goyle, Brussels Airline, Trinity Oil, and some past Rotarians such as Rotarian Row, CC Bruce, uh, Rotarian Esme, they have all been instrumental in making it a success. And as we go, go forward with this initiative on breast cancer, we encourage all companies who are keen to support this project to create the necessary awareness that's needed to come on board and help us to achieve our, achieve our goals. Mm. So um, we're looking forward to it. It should be very exciting. In the spirit of having fun at the pop chain, 
we're, we're, we're going to have fun, but we're also going to raise funds to create that awareness, especially in the less privileged areas mm. where they are sometimes ignorant or don't even have the resources to be able to identify or go to hospital to identify what's wrong with them. Mm. So, uh, uh, yes, please sorry, do. The, the value of the partnership with Millennium Promise. Mm. Okay. Millennium Promise is in the communities. Yeah. And they will do the community mobilization before we even get there so that people are aware and they continue. They also support us with data. Okay. Data which is very, very important mm -hmm. to make sure that and the people, we, we've supported so many cases and these are the people who have been referred for deeper and more, um, more um, healthcare, healthcare support. support. And that is very important because it is from these analytic, data analytics that people can, are encouraged yeah. to give more. Yeah. Accountability is important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you've mentioned companies, sure. but what about individuals? There's somebody sitting at home thinking, <laughs> yeah. this is a good initiative. I want to be part, my widow smite. How okay. do I contribute? What, we are, what we are, we're going to be launching a Momo number, um, which should be coming out in the next week or two. And we will obviously put that on all our communication platforms, which will enable individuals and corporates or whoever to be able to contribute their, their little, little, little uh, resources to help us achieve these goals. So in due course, when we have those numbers, by all means, we will, we will come back to you again mm -hmm. to discuss the next step. So, so how do we, I mean, for those who may not you know, catch that interview later, you mentioned your socials. I mean, do you mind... To, uh, referring us, are you on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram? Yes, we have we have a Facebook Facebook page which um, which we set up last year. It's been it's been set up so that we can we can be more engaging on it. We're also going to interact with the Joy FM team naturally, see how best we can get the message across and make it easy for people to people to donate. But uh, with the world of technology we live in living now, these more platforms seem to be the most desired way mm. for people to contribute. So like I said earlier on, we will come back to you with some more information because we are building this up to the event in, in October. So there are going to be a series of interviews and discussions. Mm. Um, the artists who are going to perform will be coming, coming into the studios to okay. tell you more about what they're nice. going to do. It should be fun. And I hope to see you there. Oh, you should come. I, I, I should come. You uh, should do. I'm sure it will, it will help. Because, you know, sometimes I listen to the music. It's good. But the way you groove to it, you know, as a group, you're so used to the music. <laughs> you're so used to it. And so I feel come that. Come on, Benis. We'll but, teach but you. Come on, come on board. There are some people your age who enjoy our yes. music. Huh? No, I'm, I'm saying I can appreciate really the music. It. But but I, I mean for example a sing along you know and that and I like that nature about the pop chain concert yeah. because it's it's almost like um, everybody just jams onto it and we're moving sometimes you create this chain effect and you're dancing right. together that's you know right. that's what makes it exciting but I will be there this year God willing good let's get on to Zoom and speak to Doctor. Hagen, he is chairman of the planning committee. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. So Billy has just shared with us um, the main event will be happening in October, uh, but just run us through uh, what exactly will be happening till the climax. Billy and uh, Theresa have already shared with you. The pop chain is happening on the 29th of October. Um, that's the charity concert at uh, Plus 233 uh, Jazz Bar. Um, during the whole of October, there will be a lot of appearances by uh, members of the planning committee, our partners, um, Joy FM, together with uh, Rotary Club of Accra Airport, and also uh, Millennium Promise Alliance, and several other partners will be on interviews on radio and television to uh, mount up the awareness on breast cancer and um, the screening, as well as the awareness campaigns that we're going to do um, to whip up um, people who have been supporting us to donate so that we can go to the community outreach programs and do the screening at the doorstep mm. of uh, people in the community. So this is the plan. Mm. So October is going to be really action-packed, yeah. and then we climax it with a concert on uh, 29th of October. Mm. Thereafter, then there'll be the two major community outreach programs uh, in November and followed with another one in March. So this is the plan uh, we have uh, in place. 
Mm. And I must mention that uh, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Uh, it's, it's when we all go pink to create awareness on breast cancer. So that's a, a good choice there. But Doc, tell us more about the, the concert. Is it a ticketed event? It is a ticketed event. So we will we'll sell tickets um, a few weeks ahead of time. And, and if more tickets are available, we'll sell at the gates. But when we, we announce it, we, we will advise as many of our uh, patrons to, to buy their tickets in advance. Mm, definitely, because uh, it's, been, it's been a long break, and I'm sure there are, there are people who are just yearning to, to have a feel of the Pop Chain All-Star concert again. Um, Doc, I'll come back to you shortly, uh, but let me find out from you. There are so many projects you could have decided to, to get on board with. I mean, there's so many things that need intervention in sure. this country. I mean, but obviously, you couldn't do it all at the same time, so you need to make a choice. Mm -hmm. What went into settling on breast cancer? Well, I think um, it was, it, there, were, there was a discussion had amongst the planning committee um, during, during, the COVID, during the COVID time. We had a series of meetings and to, dis, to decide as to what the next project was going to be. And in terms of the, the, national, the national need, I think it was clearly identified that um, cancer was uh, one of the big areas that needed addressing. Um, and uh, following the discussion with the team, it was, it was agreed that um, we should focus on, on, on breast cancer. Um, some, there's so many people who suffer it, some are not even aware of it. And um, if, like I said earlier on, if you don't catch it early, mm. um, it can be a bit of a challenge to get it under control. So that was the ethos behind it. Uh, we have so many friends um, who have lost, lost partners um, to breast cancer, and we just felt that it, um, it needed uh, some support mm. to to make people aware of the risks of cancer and the importance of earlier identification or detection so that the medical team and doctors can give you the necessary support to be able to get it under control or, or better still get rid of it. Mm. I, I'm, I'm really excited about this because over the years, um, you know, we focus a lot on, on, on certain diseases. So, for example, in Ghana, you talk about the malaria and all yeah. that. But unfortunately, it's turning out that cancer kills more people yeah. than malaria. Mm. When, I mean, a doctor friend told me that I was shocked. I'm sure. like, you're, you're joking, is that bad? Mm. So just think about it, the number of people who may have a certain cancer in their bodies that they don't even know as yeah. we sit here and talk. So uh, this is a very worthy initiative. And I'm also excited about the education bit because there's so many myths about breast cancer, mm. so many of them. And uh, we've had the opportunity to share stories of people who were told go to a spiritual center, it got worse, and now they run into the hospital and it's trouble, you cannot be saved. So sure. uh, I must applaud the planning committee for making this choice. So Doc, let me come to you to take your final words. Uh, I'll give you the opportunity to convince people why in, in these rather difficult economic times, it is, it is worthy, it is uh, a good cause to you know, part ways with something little for this project. Thank you for the opportunity. Just as we found out with the diabetes awareness and screening, um, there are a lot of our mothers, aunties, daughters walking around and they are not aware at all that they have the risk of breast cancer. In some other cases, even when they know, they uh, wherewithal to, to get the, the necessary attention is a challenge. So our effort is to bring awareness of breast cancer and what um, interventions are available, as well as um, you know, our medical attention uh, to the doorstep of the people who matter, that is the people in the communities. And that is why we uh, sort of uh, ask all our patrons, traditional patrons and new ones, to donate generously to this mm. effort so that breast cancer will cease to be a menace because awareness will have been uh, made. Uh, and let me take uh, this opportunity to um, acknowledge you know, the, the support that we've been getting previously. 
Uh, these are our traditional sponsors for the diabetes um, effort. Uh, we, we are expecting that they will continue to support us and other donors will also come on board. That's GKD Investments, uh, the makers of Eva Virgin Coconut Oil, Casa Preco Be Beverages, Research Carpets, St. Royal Resort, Life Forms Limited, David Water Limited, Goyle Limited, Brussels Airline, Trinity Oil, very um, supportive individuals, um, Rotarian uh, Row, and also Rotarian C.T. Bruce, as well as Rotarian Esme Thompson. We thank you all very much, and we hope you're coming on board again with us this year. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we have a, a Momo account, which we'll share with uh, our patrons as, as quickly as we can, as well as uh, our Facebook page, so that uh, donations can start almost immediately and climax it uh, in October. Thank you. Thank you so much, Doc. Dr. Ben Hagen is chairman of the planning committee for uh, the Pop Chain All-Star concert. I'll be wrapping up with my guests here. Uh, our very own Bile Paul Ankara, sitting to my immediate left and uh, father is Theresa Osetitu. She's a past assistant governor of the Rotary Club Airport. So uh, we're wrapping up the conversation. Doc has told us why people should be a part of it. Let me just give you the opportunity to share your final words. Well, the, <clears throat> the whole initiative of the Joy FM Planning Committee in partnership with the Accra Airport chapter of the Rotary Club and Plus 233 Jasper and Grill is to be able to put together a pop chain event that actually raises funds for a number of health related initiatives. And um, as the last five events have been so successful and with the two, two year break we've had because of COVID, I am certain that a lot of our patrons are eager to see what this one's going to bring. I'm not going to reveal everything that's going to happen, but it's going to be special. I wanted you so, to just give us a teaser of something different, something exciting. Nice, nice try. <laughs> nice try. Nice try. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I know where you are going. <laughs> we, it will, it Can you drop a name of at least one artist? Well, all I, okay, let's put it this way. The band that won the competition last year, Martin Luther King, mm. are going to be with us this year. Okay. And they promised something even more special Exciting. than what they did. Great. And there's more to follow on that, but we, will, we are finalizing a few details. Okay, Once sure. we are ready, we will come back to you and let the whole world know what's happening. But it's going to be exciting. Get ready for the 29th of October for the emergence of the phase two of our pop chain project. <laughs> I like that. Ma'am, your final words. Well, I think this is an opportunity, and as Rotary does, to do good in the world. So whatever it is that your aim is in this life, you need to give something back. You yeah. need to do good in the world, put something aside, come have fun, but also to do good in the world. Thanks. I like that. Do good, please. Do some good. We'll be announcing the Momo numbers uh, when we, we, we finalize everything. We'll let you know something very little. It could be 10 CDs, it could be 20 CDs, but it goes a long way when we pool our resources together to make a difference in people's lives. Just remember that story Bila shared with us of that woman. Imagine, imagine if they hadn't imagine. got there. When they got there, it could have been a, a, a child losing their mother, a husband losing his wife. And it's not a pleasant thing at all, especially when it happens so suddenly and in a way that you aren't prepared for. So please be part of this. We're calling all of you to be a part of it. Support us to make the difference in the lives of people. And for those of you watching, remember Bile said something? Breast cancer is not exclusive to women. I have an uncle who suffered from breast cancer. Yep. Thankfully, he survived it because it was caught early. That's so right. do join us, everybody, regardless of your gender, you should be interested in this particular initiative. Let me say thank you once again to Theresa Saitutu. She's the past assistant governor of Rotary Club Airport and Bile, our very own Bile. I, I, I just love his name when I mentioned Bile. <laughs> well, Antra, thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day. But thank our you. Our pleasure. Thank you for joining us to have this conversation and don't forget um, to keep this locked. October 29, we'll be having the Joy FM Pop Chain All-Star Concert. But when we come back, Benjamin and I will be engaging you on what we've been discussing uh, in today's show, the big stories, focusing on the mid-year budget review. Were your expectations met? 
do share with us when we come back shortly. <laughs> 